previously in the Big Brother house. Stop staring at me, mate. You're free. That's free. I know and I at Logan David for two points. Two points this week goes to Vesna. I know they're not they're, being themselves they're fake. in here. They're totally fake. Hate the hate days. Tonight on Big Brother, it's Vesna versus the Twins. I've never, ever come across a person like that. that is so competitive. You're a threat to them, they're playing the game, and they want to put you down. It generally hurts me seeing him upset other people. David, don't mock me. Tim is this week's farmhand, and David gets up early to help him feed the animals. Hi, goats. What happened, what happened to the back surfing? You're not into the back surfing anymore. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goats. Yeah, look at that. Mate, you're a champ. Try, try and put your feet on my hands. Oh, you're the best goat. I love you, goat. Oh, I think people don't want to... aren't revealing a lot of their character simply because mm. they don't want to and they're very cautious on the goals that they want to achieve in here. There's a lot of ambitious people here. Very ambitious. Yeah, but how can you hear her say someone? Yeah. You're being fake in here. And I know why you're being fake. Sure. Do you know what I mean? We, like, us girls, we really, really, really need to concentrate on winning on Friday nights. We really, really need to win. Mm. Of course we need to. Because the boys are just going to totally take everything over. As Dave said to Christy, that him and his brother are really going to be winning Friday nights now. So they can take the points off them when they get nominated. Because mm. they will walk over your back to win it. They will. Put sunscreen on my finger. I'm pretty sure that's what I've got in my eye now. now. I just have to go get um, tweezers and get glasses. Oh, man. She's making up that story about the ice. Do you want to know why she's upset? Why? It's really very sad. I just can't fake feelings. She said she really liked me and I just said... Shut the hell up, Tim. I just said I can't be with you. Tim! Anymore. I don't like you like that. So just go easy on it today, can you? I never go hard at her. The housemates regularly write an online diary for the Big Brother website. Each starts with a question about their time in the house. Uh, what was your question? Just tell us what you think about your housemates. Did you go through everyone? Yep. Everybody. I just know what she would have put down for me. There's tension between you. And her? Yeah. Oh, mate. Same with Dave. I'm over it. I'm honestly not going to... I want to know what's wrong. I'm not going to... I've only noticed it last two days. No, I'm not going to try anymore. There's no point. She, doesn't, she hasn't said anything to me in regards to you. Uh, I can't win, mate. You can't win with her. I can't. It's the only, only person in that I've ever, ever had like a... I just don't know. I just it's just too much of her. Mm. I I, too much I can't understand. Mm. I just wrote that. I just wrote what I say about you. I said <laughs> Dean won't let me in, but I guess he has his reasons for that, and that's okay. What'd you write about me? Thanks. You'll read it <laughs> on the internet when you get home. I thought you what can't tell me? I thought you would have done something nicer than that. <laughs> yours is yours, <laughs> and your brother's is very very deep, and 
something that you need to read for yourself rather than come out of my mouth. All of Australia going to read it. Oh. What are you worried about? Nothing. I just can't believe you won't tell me, mate. No, I just want to you can't what? Is it? So, you probably get it. Right right no, Dave, just true. say it. No. Why can't you just say it? You can't tell it. You won't tell me, oh, so. It's very deep. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, Mum will be proud to hear it then. You don't give me a chance, Dave. You don't give me a chance to express myself and to tell you. You're always running away from it. I'm not running away anyway, mate. You do, Dave. You run away from everything. <laughs> it's obviously that side. you haven't interacted with people like me before. All the way the opposite side. I've never, ever come across a person like that is so competitive, is so in it for themselves, so just in there to prove a point. Never. And it's a very, to me, it's a very, very deep, deep, deep insecurity of failure. You cannot fail. You fail, you will not be able to live with yourself. You can't. You cannot fail. And that's how I feel, Dave, and I have to say it, because I feel like you will walk over people to get where you want. And I, I, don't, I hate that. I hate that about you. No, I don't hate, I dislike that about you. You hate it. Every day for you is a competition in life. Your life is a competition. And if you fail in one area, you will not live with yourself. You can't. Is that fair to say? No, you get yeah, entitled to opinion. That's, yeah? That's fair. And that's just my opinion. That's fine. You don't yeah. have to take it, Dave. You really don't. Mate, I, I, I listen to what you say. It's, everyone's got their opinions, mate. I'm, I'm happy with that vest. It's just like, it's, to me, you just walk around with a, with a battle suit on and a shield in front of you, and anything, that come, anything you don't like that comes your way, you just fight it off instead of trying to deal with it. So the battle shield and all that stuff was directed at me. The yeah, it was. People walk around and say, you just... What, are you angry that I said no, that? No, I'm not angry, mate. I'm not angry Should at all. Should I have lied and said... No, nah, tell the truth. I did in no way said it's okay, you were bad. It's okay, Bess. No, it's not okay. I don't want to... This is where I come to get my stress. I don't want to come out here and have to talk about something about me when I'm doing weights. We talk about it when we finish. We'll never talk about it. You'll always oh, be don't. on the surface. Not especially not here, please. Okay, mate. You won't talk about it. I know you won't. You're just lying. Coming up on Big Brother, the twins are raising suspicion. And why would I want to get to know somebody if they've, if they've lied to me once? Why wouldn't they lie to me again? To a big Dean, dial 1902 555561 or SMS Dean to 191010. Get in and who the is saying that? that she wrote it on her laptop, laptop. thing. Vesna has just told David she criticised the twins in an online diary entry she wrote for the Big Brother website. Does people carry shields and stuff? She goes, Yep. No, she told the truth. She told you to see your face. What does she say? Oh, that we're carrying shields that we won't let anyone in in our life because we do anything to win. Complain. You complain. We don't like failure. Read out your only cheat yourself. We mate. don't like failure. All right, wrong. Um, but I'm talking about in arrogant and just the way he speaks sometimes. Greg really thinks about the other person's feelings when he says yeah. something. Yeah, or Dave does it. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. He'll be like, I don't care. Whereas Greg will be like, oh, you really shouldn't say that because that could really hurt their feelings. Yeah. I don't, I don't know who they're attracted to, mm. but I see them only showing that attraction when they're out of here and not doing it in here. Who? Um, Kristen Greg. No, um, Greg and Dave. Oh, absolutely. They won't and do anything in here. And yeah, yeah. And it makes me feel as it makes me sense falseness. Yeah, yes, yes. Like playing the game. Yeah. Yeah, and totally. Totally, totally. I see that, I see deception. And the fact of the matter is, at the end of the day, at the end, they're going to go, hey, do you want to get to know each other now? Seeing as though this is all over. Yeah. And why would I want to get to know somebody if they've, if they've lied to me once, why wouldn't they lie to me again? Yep. <laughs> hey. Hey, girl. How's things? Good. Hmm? Remember all this crap? There's still tension in the house. Where? With the boys. With the boys? Mm -hmm. No, there's not. OK. Where? I think I can't see it. OK. Huh? All right. I can't feel it. That's all right. Maybe it's because I don't know what I'm looking for. Do you want to fill me in? Nah, it's all good. 
Bitch, what did you write about yes. me? I'm Nothing just intrigued to know. You got in trouble. Yeah. That you guys wear battle battle suits and hold shields up against you, allowing no Gladiators one to get in. Are we, are we having yeah. coal? Are we having coal? Yeah. Um, yeah. Allow um, anyone to get in? You yeah, allow no one to get in. Yeah. Um, I'll do it, yeah. Your meaning, your meaning of life is very different to mine. Um, yep. Hey, I'm curious, how do, you, how do you back that up? I just feel like you guys are very, very um, competitive. Yeah. And you will do anything in order to stop yourselves from not looking bad. <laughs> you don't want to be distracted in this house. You don't, you don't want to be distracted from this game. This is a big game for you guys. Yeah. So by, by putting your shield up, not really letting yourself go and everyone not... Really getting to know you, like it's everyone. Just a few. It's not everyone. Like we don't. Hang on, hang on, Dave. Else, I've only seen a couple of sides to you guys. I haven't seen hardly anything. Like you've shown me nothing in six weeks. Like I can't turn around and say, well, yeah, I, I like Dave and Greg because they're what? That's yeah. it. I'm, I'm, and I'm honest. It's I'm good. telling you the truth. Yeah, and it's nothing wrong with the truth. I love hearing that stuff. I just. Just it's intrigued right. to find out why people say. I've never had anything, anyone ever said that to me in my entire life. That's why I just find it just pretty strange, but that's cool. After the break, Vesner and David head for a showdown. Because no, the tough gets tough and you get really, tougher. Really but you still tough. continue to whinge about little things. To evict Kate, dial 1902 555563 or SMS Kate to 191010. Voting costs 55 cents, including GST. Calls from mobiles higher. Voting and SMS lines close at 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, the 17th of July. For terms and conditions, go to bigbrother.3mobile.com.au. The housemates are convinced they only have a short time left in the house and Big Brother's yet to tell them they're wrong. I think uh, a, a number of people, including myself and, and I know some other people I've spoken to privately, are getting tired and a little bit... We know it's coming towards the end. We know it's, what, two and a half weeks um, until the end of the show. We've been here a long time. People are getting a bit tired, a bit more irritable. I think, I think it was Kate who said to me that she was, you know, a little bit um, uh, scared coming into these final weeks because she's worried that people, the game that we're in, for want of a better word, is going to become more apparent and people are going to become more... Um, I, think, I think what she was trying to say, these are my words, is that relationships are going to lose their purity a little bit. It's not something that it scares me because I just... I don't, but I hadn't thought about it, and so it made me think. So I sort of think when people are starting to think about, you know, where we are in, in this process, in this game, um, and becoming a bit more irritable, a bit more drained. Um, and even today we saw, you know, Vesna um, uh, having some issues with the Logan boys, for example. So I, think, I suppose the dynamic is actually quite explosive. Do you wish you had stronger relationships with the people you're not getting along with? I think there's only one person I don't get along with. Yeah. And that's obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mate, yeah. Would have been great to make it probably an earlier attempt. Like, I, I thought I was making the best progress I possibly could. If something's not going right with someone, I'll, I usually can figure it out. Or I've never been in those situations. Yeah. I, you know what I mean? I respect what they have to say. If someone said, listen, this annoys me about you, I go, cool. I'll try and do my best to do it. I've never met. I just, mate, now I've tried and tried and tried. I can't understand it. So I just think there's no point putting a, a, a false happy face over it. Yeah, and then. I know it's just, it's not going happen. Of course I'm going to be nice and polite because that's generally my nature. Exactly. What she said today did hurt me because it's not true. Mm. And someone might, you know, it's just, it's, you know, making a massive, and a massive assumption. You've been in the funny mood for a couple of days. You haven't spoken to me all day. Oh, yeah, you said the nicest things to me lately, so <laughs> I'm just having a break. Do you know what I mean? From me? Yeah, it's nothing bad to you. need a break from me. Oh, <laughs> everyone needs a so break from everyone sometimes. Sometimes, mate. 
Because if I open my mouth at the wrong time, it's just going to make the, the friendship no, a lot worse. Like you, yeah, not, but some things I could say like be too harsh, mate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't want to say those things because I don't want to wreck our friendship. What could be too harsh for you to say to me? Oh, I don't know. You're it's just a on... bitch? No, I don't know. Dave, do you forget that we've come here for honesty, yeah? Oh. Okay? <laughs> And I've been straight from the day I walked in here, okay? Yep. You know that, right? First of all, second of all, for you. it's probably just me trying to make you into the man that I want to spend time with, and you're not. And you're never going to be. Yep. And and I've got to accept that, and that's it. Yeah. And maybe I'm just doing the exact same as you, trying that's to it. toughen you up a bit and make you, you shake little things off a bit quicker. I'm so, Dave, you think that I'm not tough. I'm so I'm tough. The tough gets tough and you get really, tougher. Really but you still tough. continue to whinge about little things. Yeah, I do. So you're not getting tougher. And I'll whinge till I'm satisfied. If you're tackling a really big problem, and I think you're struggling with it, I'll be there for you. But when there are little things that I think you can, you can, you can deal with them yourself that doesn't have to be brought out as a big issue, when you stop talking about it, then I get more affectionate. You slept in my bed, whatever, cuddled. You farted on me. In, oh, <gasps> off. You That's farted. exactly what I mean. You farted on me and blew oh your sheets. God. You're a hypocrite. No. Farting in the bed and I put the sheets up. You came up to me and farted on my skin. That's what I'm clothes. talking about. David, don't mock me. You said in your bed, mate. Why are you walking away because you're wrong? Because I have to brush my teeth. Because you can't handle it. <sighs> don't worry about it, mate. I don't blame. Mate, I'm not frustrated. If I was frustrated, yeah. a lot more words would have flown. So, I'm ready? Wish I could have felt the smile. <laughs> Right, mate, I don't, I'm not one of the problems. Let's see how good it feels to Mate, yeah. Do you feel good now? Oh. Can you give me laugh the funniest laugh you can ever laugh? Rita. Can you? For me? No. Pretend to laugh. It's not laughing, mate, am I? You know, you, no, but you know when you pretend sense. to laugh, it becomes a laugh? You know when you pretend to laugh, it then becomes a laugh? Yeah. Pretend to laugh and then you'll start to laugh. Mate, I, I, I'm not going to pretend to laugh about something that's... <laughs> yeah. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about... It's how pathetic this house has got, mate. You're whinging about someone farting. Next on Big Brother, is Greg his brother's keeper? It mentally scars me because I then know it will reflect who I am. To evict Rita, dial 1902 555579 or SMS Rita to 191010. Very aggressive side. You can see Extremely it. Extremely aggressive. Extre and he's holding he's back because I wouldn't be surprised if before they came in here, if Greg said to Dave, "I know you've got an aggressive side. I know you've got this. I know you've got that. Okay. Now keep it. Don't keep it under control in there." And I'll guarantee if they weren't one in here, things would be different. Yes, they will be very different. If they were each their own person in here, they wouldn't stick up for each other as much. I think there'd be a lot more interesting stuff going on because the real. Dave would come out and people wouldn't be afraid to say or do or whatever they have to do because you're not jeopardising the other. Which is why I think it's very, in my opinion, it's totally unfair that they are one person in here and it creates an advantage in them winning. Everyone in here is in it for themselves except two people. Mm. You've got one control and the other. It doesn't have to be verbally, it could be a it could just be this, a look, and you just go, oh, that's a look. Yeah, exactly. Tone down. Someone to How tell you to stop. How do we know they haven't given each other signals before they came in? You don't know. They, I just think, in my morals, they should be two separate people, not one. Yeah, for sure. Totally two separate people. Yeah. And it would be really good if it was something that happened now to separate them because they are so completely different people. Mm-hmm. And it's just so unfair. And if you've got, I'm gonna get my Ugg boots. And if you've got one nice one and one bad one, it's easy. But if you've got two nice people, then it's like, oh, what's up? But you can see the sun, <sighs> Dave. Hope she doesn't go and tell them. She will. I don't care. I don't care if she does. I'm sick of all this. Oh, what's happening now? There more. If anyone should win this game, it should be you because you are totally being yourself, as like others, mm. but the difference is you are you and people love you, you get away with it. The people in here love you, but the guys give you specifically the Logans, specifically Dean, is because they know that you can win. You're a threat to them. 
they're playing the game and they want to put you down, hoping that you don't stand, get back up and stand up for yourself. And if you went out, they'd be going, yes, I've got a chance. Hear me? Rita, it's... <laughs> But can you hear me? Oh, no, I know. I'll tell you honestly, it is so far fetched in my head. Earlier in the day, Greg promised Vesna he would have a one on one talk with her. Tonight, she's calling in the favour. Greg, our best is ready for you. <laughs> it's your appointment, Gregory. Can't miss your appointment. Oi, Dave. You and your brother are counted as one person, in you go. Mate, I don't, uh, I don't feel like making a crow at the moment. It might not be a bad idea. <laughs> well, that wasn't a bad idea, I'm just saying. There's no way I'm going in there, mate. You I'm sure? Just, yeah, positive, okay. mate, seriously. <laughs> and how are you? I'm OK. How would you like to... I'm not experiencing these things. You're not? Not at all. Go, you just start, start. You can start. No, I just want to know what, why I frustrate you. I, me, as an individual, as not... Me and David, mm -hmm. okay, as me as an individual. Mm -hmm. First of all, it's really hard to tell, for me to express how I feel about you, when I've been um, conditioned yeah. to um, believe that you and your brother are one person. Yeah, okay. When you both are totally different. Coming into this show was a massive thing for me. I had an opportunity to come on with my brother to share something very important which mm -hmm. for him. Mm -hmm. I was like, no worries. The hardest thing to come on it was to, to, you're right, to be considered as one person. Mm -hmm. I yeah. feel that your brother is playing the game and you were helping him along with it. What? Right? When you mean a game, what do you necessarily Great. think? Okay. Do you think we're in here? Like, I, I can tell you what I think, what you're saying, because what you wrote in that, what I can gather what you wrote in that computer today is that we're not letting people into our lives so we can brush it off easily. Yes. And so we can just roll with the punches yes. and, and, and win. Yes. OK, go on. Because you guys have an extreme advantage here. Extreme. Advantage? Because, wait, wait, because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone in here has come in as one. Yep. Now, you guys have come in here, two people playing one game. Yep. So if one wants to win a hundred times more than the other one... Yep. The other one is aware of that and yeah. will do everything in his or her power to, 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 to help control that, that person along. OK. And to pull that person up yep. where, that per where that person needs pulling up. And I see that a lot with you guys. Yeah. And it annoys me. Yep. When you see me pull him up on things like that, it's not because I want to do whatever I can take to win this thing. It's because it generally hurts me seeing him upset other people. Rodeo, it, it, it mentally scars me because I then know it will reflect who I am. That's why I'm not pulling him up to mm. say, mate, what are you doing? We can win this thing. The thing we is understand that, that think... Greg, but us as housemates yeah. have to see you guys as one person. Exactly. That's the issue that I cannot deal with in here. There are, there are some disadvantages to it, being two people in one house. For you. For us, for sure for it you. is. For both of us. For A, having twice as, twice as many reasons to be up for nomination, twice as many reasons to be evicted, by the, you know, do you know what I mean? With a positive, there's a negative. With two positives, there can be two negatives. If he has the option to be individual people to get into this show, we would have taken it in a heartbeat. Tomorrow night on Big Brother, will Vesna and the twins call a truce? To a Big Tim, dial 1902 555573 or SMS Tim to 191010. Maddie, this is juicy stuff. Oh, I love it. Almost as much as what Greta wears. Take a fresh listen. The Matt and Joe Show, weekdays from 6 on 1019 The Fox. Next, everybody loves Raymond. This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.